To add a buffer tank onto your design or a low loss header, it works the same way. So let's say we need to make space for this now between the heat pump and the cylinder. We can choose the heat source once again. In the properties, give it the name. Rotate it and flip the direction if you want to and change the shape and diameter. The next thing is to change the inlets. So there is no cold or gas, but we do want the heating to connect. It is best here to just put zero kilowatts and whatever pressure drop you would expect. And on the outlets, we do want the heating system and we do need to set the correct delta T once again. So ensure the return temperature is at least one degree below the outlet temperature. And then we can connect the system together. And then we can connect it on the outlet as well. So just being sure to match the, the red feed ones together and the orange return ones together. Then when we click results, Look what heat load is on the buffer tank or the low loss header, and then come back into the properties of that. Enter it in as the kilowatt rating. And when you click results, that means that you get the same rating from the heat pump to the buffer tank, and then from the buffer tank to the rest of the system.